What's the best senior prank you've heard of? My graduating class bought a keg of root beer from our local liquor store. We set it up at about 6am in the student parking lot. There were about two dozen of us. We all had launchers and set it up just like one of our real parties with chairs all around the keg. The police were called. It didn't take them long to figure out what was actually going on. During my sophomore year of high school. The seniors covered the hallway floors with bubble wrap and managed to play elevator music through the announcement speakers. The seniors at my school hyped up the prank. Put posters everywhere. Handed out flyers. Posted daily on social media. Installed a countdown clock. This also grabbed the attention of the local newspaper. They arrived at the school for an article. That was for us huge news. Some seniors even gave quotes to the press. Then the clock struck zero. Everyone held their breath for what was about to happen. Nothing. There was no prank. Fkers. Some seniors paid a company to move a big boulder in front of the main entrance to the school. The school then had to pay that same company to come remove it. Edit. I was told this story by a teacher. I have no way of verifying it. Only the company wins. We had an interior courtyard in one of the buildings. There was a restaurant about 15 miles away with a Paul Bunyan statue out in front. Most of the school showed up at 4am to get the statue. Driving down the expressway with the head over the front of the pickup and the feet almost touching the ground in the back with a tarp over the middle. The pickup was surrounded by 100 or so cars and trucks. Nobody was getting close to it. We got it to the school. Hoisted it to the center of the main building and admired our work. The next day the school had to get a crane to get the statue removed. Best part was nobody saw a 100 vehicle convoy with a 15 foot statue in the center. I heard a story of a senior class of one school switching with a senior class from a different school. Each person was assigned another person from the other school to switch with for the day. Leave it to 1018 year olds in two different schools to bother coordinating that for lols. My class decided to bring a bunch of grills and hold a barbecue in the parking lot. The seniors before us actually destroyed so much property that we decided to just have something everyone could enjoy. Edit. I went to a high school in Metro Detroit. I heard of a prank where the students went and spray painted class of 2005 all over the school and sprayed grass killer on the football field in big letters that said class of 2005. The prank was that it was the class of 2006. They did it the week before they became seniors. So the senior class got in trouble for it but the juniors who did it never said anything until after they got their diplomas after senior year. Kinda lame. But I respect the approach. Everyone brought a breeze block to school in rugby bags. Under the pretense of a rugby match. They waited till one of the least liked teachers left his classroom. And then they bricked up the door to his room. He was not happy. Waxing Playboy magazine photos to the school floor. When I was a freshman someone super glued a quarter to the floor in front of the vending machines. Nearly everyone would try to pull it up when they got to the front. Away back in 1969. Our class painted a 55 gallon drum as a beer can. The bottom was removed. And they hoisted it up the flagpole very fast. So that when they hit the top of the lanyard. The momentum flipped it over onto the top of the flagpole. Back then. 55 gallon drums were made of steel. Nowadays with plastic drums. It would likely be much easier. My class's senior prank was passing out marbles to as many people as possible pre-graduation. When you went to shake the principal's hand during the ceremony. You would pass him the marble. By the time I got to shake his hand, this was a class of about 800 and my last name was towards the end, he was surrounded by a pretty big pile of marbles. The principal was cool about it. He just laughed when I handed it to him. I have no idea who came up with the idea but it was so harmless and random. My dad had a close friend whose grandpa owned a chicken farm. At the time. The chicken farm was going to put down a couple dozen hens because they were no longer producing eggs. 
My dad and his friend got some of their other buddies and asked the one friend's grandpa for the chickens. He said as long as they were gone then he was fine with them taking them so they got a bunch of dog carriers and stuffed them full of chickens. My dad had keys to get into the school because he would run morning workouts for wrestling teams so they took all of the chickens to the school on Saturday nights and hid them throughout the whole school. On Monday when they came to school the faculty were running around chasing chickens and to top things off. They always serve chicken for lunch on Mondays. Not sure if I would call it best as much as I'd call it stupid and dangerous and it wasn't actually my high school. But it was the next town over. Somebody claimed that they needed sawdust for something at home. So the shop teacher started giving him all of the sawdust from the woodworking classes. He stashed it all at home for like 6 months. And then at the end of the year. They spread all the sawdust on the football field and lit it on fire. Comma they spread all the sawdust on the football field. Oof lomfeo. Comma and lit it on fire. Yo what the fosa. This happened a few years before I was in high school but one year the seniors stole a cow and brought it up to the second floor of the school. For added context. The year I graduated. All the popular seniors got like 20-50 chickens and set them loose in the main building. Only thing is. Our school was having work done on the main building at that moment. A bunch of the chickens found their way into the ceiling and died, not to mention shti everywhere. It was not a pleasant few days that followed. Seniors turned the school into Jurassic Park and students ran around in inflatable T-Rex costumes. One year. The senior prank at the high school was to park in the most asshole way possible. Taking up multiple spots and double parking. Not very good in my book. Of funny. But hey it didn't damage anything. So whatever. The parking lot was shared by a local business yo. And the shop owner thought he'd play a prank of his own. Called a buddy. And an off duty cop came down to give everyone fake parking tickets. The econ class that most of them were in. Had a view of the lot. The cop drove up in a cop car. With lights flashing. Wish I could have been there to see their faces when the cops started placing empty ticket envelopes under windshields. Here's a simple one. Find a locker that's not being used by any students. Get a portable CD player. The kind that can run on batteries. But has loud speakers. Make a CD of 10 minutes silence. Followed by an hour of PRN audio. Put the CD player. With CD. In the abandoned locker. Press play. Put your own master lock on the locker, or super glue it shut. Leave the scene. Our football field bleachers were painted blue and white. The white chairs spelled out 2008 in block lettering. And we used grass chalk spray, temporary white spray paint, to make it say boob. Was hysterical. A couple friends of mine and I kidnapped our headmaster principal, with his permission from assembly by rappelling down from the rafters and putting a bag over his head and ushering him off stage. Then we played a queued up video that looked like a ransom video that was happening live. At the end of the video the headmaster escapes and returns to the assembly and continues his speech as if nothing happened. My senior class hired a mariachi band to follow our principal around all day. When I was a sophomore. The senior class did a typical prank on the Friday before exams, moving desks outside. Filling rooms with balloons. Etc. Comma so that we would all think that was their prank. Then. On then Wednesday of exams. They rented a camel and put it in front of the school with signs saying happy hump day. It was a fun prank. Harmless. Ease the stress of exams. And funny to see a camel standing alone in front of the school. Talcum powder on ceiling fans. Alarm clocks locked into lockers in different classrooms around the school. Set to go off at the same time. A few people all chipped in to buy a car clamp and clamp the car of the teacher who oversees year 14. Seniors. They then left a note on the window screen which was a riddle in old English which would lead to another one somewhere in the school, about 10 in total, until you finally got the last one which had the key to unlock it. 
She's not a teacher who can take joke and was furious about it especially because it was home time before she saw the clamp and had sent the caretaker on a wild goose chase around the school looking for the key. Some seniors gathered a large crowd of students to form a giant circle in the lunch room. Each of them chanting fight. Fight fight. Fight. Full stop. And the teachers tore through the crowd to get to the center conflict. They found two seniors throwing down some mad rock paper scissors game. We never did it. But I really thought it was ingenious to pressure wash dicks all over the school. The only way to clean it is to pressure wash everything. In an area that has lots of mushroom farms. Some rich FCK just dumped a truck of manure in the parking lot. Someone else in the same HS got a whole lot of jello. We weren't allowed to have senior pranks because we were told that if we participated we wouldn't get our diplomas and people didn't want to do that but one of my teachers told me that when she was a sophomore the seniors somehow got into the school at night before Columbine Solace security and filled all the hallways with ball pit balls or wherever they're called. Comma if we participated we wouldn't get our diplomas. I'd like to see them try to actually enforce that. Got the community uproar that would be bound to follow. Well. My school seniors got let out like an hour before the rest of the school on our last day. So the rugby team and weightlifting kids went around and moved every single car in the car park. And several on the roads. Picking them up. Pushing them. Whatever it took. Some were one or two parking spaces different. The lighter cars and motorbikes or ones they somehow got keys for were in totally different parts of the school. I had to wait for my younger sister to get out. So I got to stick around and watch the total chaos as students and teachers went into panic mode. It was glorious. Edit. My sophomore? Comma year. The seniors got the idea that they would put out pink flamingos in the field in front of the school. Well that sounds really stupid. And it definitely was. It also worked to a degree. The kids would take the flamingos inside and walk around the school with them all day. We made jello in all the toilets and urinals overnight. A few days before graduating we listed our principal's house for sale by owner on Craigslist. Priced it at $75k below market and scheduled an open house on the day and time of our ceremony. I heard a dozen people were in his driveway when he got home. I'm a bit late to the party. But I like this story. For some context. This was at a private. Catholic school in the 1980s. And I heard about it from a teacher. A group of kids. Legend says four of them. Broke into the school one evening and got into the president's office. They penned a letter on school official stationery. And signed it with the president's auto signer. Made copies and prepared them in school official envelopes to be sent to every senior's parents. The gist of the note was. Due to the recent uptick in teen drinking. We encourage you to take your children to keggers and get them as inebriated as possible. So as to dissuade them from drinking alcohol in the future. Asterisk. The letters went out. And. Naturally. The parents and administration were furious. The school had a mail fraud investigation kicked off with intent to press charges. But the pranksters were never caught. A few years ago. I asked someone about this. A man who I knew attended the same school around this time. He corroborated my teacher's story. When asked if he knew any of the culprits. He smirked and said. I'll never tell. There was a tradition for a while in the small private high school of my hometown. All the classrooms of the school fit in one building. This is a small town where most everyone drives a truck. The day after winter break. In the middle of the night. A huge group of seniors would drive into the mountains and fill their trucks with snow. Then. Come back. And pile that snow deep. Blocking all the doors to the school to force a snow day. We glued some coins to the floor in the corridors and on the counter platforms of the school snack shops. We then proceeded to record every person who tried to pick the coins up in the corridor and their repeated attempts. Which of course. Failed miserably. The snack shop coin videos were even more hilarious because people kept trying to surreptitiously swipe them off the counter and they wouldn't budge. 
We then played all the videos during the graduation ceremony in one corner of the entrance hall to the school using a projector we repositioned from one of the conference rooms. One of the custodians graduated two years prior. Gave kids the masked locker key. They changed the lock on every locker. As a teacher. I sat in the hall laughing hysterically. Where they closed the school. They had teachers fill out a whole list of questions. One question being. For what would you wake up in the middle of the night? Then they did just that. They bought the actual product. Went to their house and woke the teachers up. Just a few of them who would appreciate the joke. They made a whole video about it and the whole school watched it together in the auditorium. It was a very funny and harmless prank. Climbing the flagpole and dropping a dozen tires over it. The seniors a year above me decided to stack all the tables in the lunch area in a giant pyramid before school started. So everyone saw it on their way into school. It was those green mesh tables in an outdoor area with a really high roof. I think it was about 6 tes high. Guy lives on the top floor of an inner city college dorm. His friends take him out for his birthday. Get him f up. While out. Other friends go up to his room. Take all his stuff out of his room and move it down to an identical dorm room on the ground floor. Bed sheets. Posters. Books. Everything. Basically recreating his room identically but 8 flights lower. They come back drunk. Get into the elevator. Raucously jump up and down and generally distract him. Elevator doors open. They pile back to his room and throw him out the window. Haha. <laughs> Still hurt his back a bit. Hiding alarm clocks is always funny. Inserted in the ceiling by pushing up tiles. Hidden in hollowed out books. Under floorboards. When I was a junior in high school. The seniors blocked all exits and entries with hay bales. Then some dickweed decided to go smoking next to it while on a hot summer day. Let's just say we stayed at home the rest of the week. Some of the kids in my year bought a toilet. Cemented it to the ground in front of the school. And took a shti in it. Someone in my year tweeted something like but where the stairs there was no reason to be scared but the year below was terrified. They released three goats number one. Two. And four. Not my school but the students of another school in my city cemented a car they got from a junkyard to the front steps of the school. A few classes ahead of me took every door in the high school hallway of the hinges and reinstalled them on different frames. It took several hours before teachers began to notice that their flyers and things were no longer on their door. Harmless but hilarious. The seniors at e-school one year designed a maze to put up in the main area of the school. The administration has an iron grip on these things. So everything has to be approved. So they gave them a blueprint for the maze. So they could find their way through. But when they built it. It didn't match the blueprint at all. So no one made it to class. Edit. So they took big black tarps. And hung them from PVC or rope. And secured them on the top and bottom to make a wall. And only on top to make a door that could be pushed out of the way. So. You would enter the maze. And be in a square made of four walls of tarp. All of which look identical. But some can move. And some can't. It's disorienting already. But on top of that. It didn't match the blueprints given to administration. So no one knew the right way through. I saw a bunch of seniors dress up as a squad of ninjas and run to each class throwing candy in each one. Shti did not go over well with any non-student person. Releasing thousands of crickets in the foyer. We had a giant staircase. One of those floating ones. That was 4 stories high. At 6. 30 am. We filled all the stairs with cupcakes and people had to eat their way through. We went around the whole school and apexied all the locks. Two kids sealed off two sets of double doors and made a modified fish tank and filled it with fish. We also dug big 1999s in all the sports fields. And planted trees all over. The dork here kids planned a prank for the next morning that the teachers knew about so we showed up to that like we didn't know about it. 
Years later I ran into a teacher and he asked me how my landscaping job is going. I don't work in landscaping. One of my HS teachers had a buddy who killed his mom's cat and stuck it in the heater duct. There's always that one kid who takes it too far.